What's going on, folks? So today I'm uh, working on a little bit different project. It's not the Odyssey's. As usual, it's actually the uh, FL350. So uh, this is my my rig that I take when I go camping and go on the Odyssey uh, rides and everything. The problem is I don't have a very good rear view mirror. So what I want to do is fix that. So if you look at this, and you can see can't really see anything out of my rear view mirror and uh, I, I've driven this way for quite a long time and uh, I, I make do make it work and everything like that but uh, I want to actually address that so with that I'm gonna show what you guys got or what I got from uh, Amazon here and uh, show you how I'm gonna solve this problem all right so uh, what I did is I bought a it's called the wolf box and this is the g900 so this is an lcd um, rear view screen so it's got a camera that goes on the back and then it actually has which you see here is a picture uh, a camera for the front so this is going to be perfect for what i need i can have a camera that um, i can see the toys and stuff on the trailer make sure everything's good uh, from my um rear view mirror and then when i want to do some time lapse videos and stuff or uh, doing some videos and whatnot i got this camera up front so i'm going to get this thing unboxed here all right and i think this is like this is around 200 maybe 225 i think there's a couple different cheaper options um than this from the same company uh but this one had a few specific features that i was looking for uh, for my setup so if I can figure out how to open up the box here. Okay. All right, so here's the screen itself. And uh, looks looks pretty fancy. So it's got two things. So um, this particular model you can mount over your existing um, rear view mirror if you don't want to do any modifications or you can actually do a permanent install if you want to do that. So here's the, uh, the front view camera. And then of course, we have, I think this, yep, here's our, our rear view camera here. So this is what we're going to be sticking on the truck, along with some cable, uh, cigarette, cigarette lighter power adapter, um, which I don't think we're going to use this because I'm going to um, permanent wire it with a different kit. Here's the GPS um, antenna, and of course these uh, help hold the, if you do the non-permanent install, these go over like this. So I'm not going to do a full install video of it. There's other videos showing that plus it's specific to my truck. Um, but what I'll do is when I get it all installed, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and uh, hopefully give you some kind of pictures and stuff and, and, and give you an idea of how he useful this thing will be. So with that, I'm going to get installed it and we'll check back in later. All right, so uh, I managed to get the, um, the rear view mirror installed and everything. So let me just show you what that looks like. So here's the, uh, the camera up here. It might be a little darker um, on the video than it actually appears. Um, but this does have a front facing camera. So if I put my hand up here, you'll see. It's actually kind of weird how it, <laughs> it fits pretty good. Um, and then over here is my rear view camera. So there are a few functions. I can swipe to the left like that. So now I got my, uh, my rear view camera up here, my front camera up here swipe again so this is all front cameras you can see that car that just went drove by of course this is all rear view and i should be able to let's see here that's screen brightness oh here we go see i can tilt up and everything so that'll be pretty handy when i'm driving with the toys and everything i'll be able to um uh, check on check on the toys and then i can scroll up a little bit if i want to be able to see what's going on further behind me 
So, and of course, I'll probably just leave it on this mode by default because it gives a nice big wide um, camera um, aspect um, over there. Probably actually to here, so I have my rear camera over here and then my front camera is over there. There's a bunch of settings and stuff on here that you can play with. Um, I'm, I've am i kind of gone through it. There's some other videos and stuff that show uh, better stuff. So here's how you can dim it on the right side. So that's pretty cool. So you can make it nice and bright or nice and dark and everything. So uh, yeah, uh, that was it. Uh, install wasn't too bad. I'll show real quick uh, how it is on the camera. Or sorry, on, on the camper. All right, so up on the camper, if you look all the way up at the top there, there you can see that's where the camera is. So I ran the, the cable along the rail there and then it comes down the ladder and it ties on over. I have a cell phone signal booster. That's what that black thing is up there. So both those cables come over here and I have it running underneath and then it ties in. And then because the camper does come on and off, I do actually have a, uh, a connection here so I can disconnect whenever I take the, the camper off. So that'll be pretty helpful. And then of course the the cable runs underneath the truck. There's, well, you're not gonna be able to see too much. But anyways, it runs up all the way up to the front, comes in up on the um, rear passenger or driver's side passenger. The cables are running through the floorboards up through here, up through here, and then all the way over to the camera. So the reason I ended up installing this is um, I, I've driven with this truck and camper combination for several years and I, I've done okay, uh, but I've had many, many times that I'm just like, I like to know, you know, are the toys okay? Are they secure on the trailer? Are they moving around? Sometimes you have some straps that come loose over time and whatnot. Um, the other thing is that when I'm driving, I have no idea what's behind me. So uh, I thought this would be a nice little upgrade. I've been looking at getting one of these for quite a long time. Um, the price is not too bad. I think I paid just over $200 for this particular unit. Um, I do have one little cleanup thing, which is currently you can see there's my old existing rear view mirror. I just have it strapped over. And um, I thought I'd purchased the mount to make it like a permanent install and I couldn't find it. So I had to order another one. So that's gonna get installed. Or arrive in the next day or two and then I'll install it but with that I'm uh, looking forward to the next trip where I get to put this to use um, it's also gonna be great for some time-lapse videos and stuff so when I'm doing some traveling I can take some cool video and whatnot for uh, the channel and everything so I hope you guys enjoyed that again not a normal uh, video with the Odyssey stuff but it's all kind of interrelated uh, this will give me some uh, some additional safety options on the road when I'm traveling for events and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys in the next clip. Take care.